Well, good evening, folks. We'll begin this evening by praying for Maureen Miller, who we've been requested to pray for. She had surgery a couple of days ago, and there have been complications since, and so we simply want to pray for her. Lord, we lift up to you Maureen Miller. Lord, we pray that you will be close to her and her family. Lord, we pray that you will stretch forth your healing hand and heal her. Raise her back to a full measure of health and strength. And Lord, at this time where there will be worries and concerns, we pray that she will have peace in her soul. And Lord, you will give peace to her family and friends too. Lord, we pray that we will understand that we are held in your hand and that, Lord, you are capable of caring for us. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Our reading this evening uh, includes this amusing story from uh, Acts chapter 20 about Eutychus. Eutychus, obviously, a, a young man. Perhaps he'd been working very hard all day. But when Paul came to preach, Paul kept on preaching. He kept talking until midnight. And Eutychus fell into a deep sleep as Paul talked on and on. And I guess many of us have known that experience with coming to church. Perhaps we wanted to be in church, but we've known we've, we're tired. We've had a rough week or a hard day, but we've still gathered together to hear the word preached. But we found our eyes heavy and uh, the preacher seems to go on and on. And we've... Uh, dozed off a little perhaps we've hoped that no one would notice but I guess we've all we can all uh, sympathize with Eutychus but poor Eutychus fell out of the window and he fell down three stories and was picked up dead Paul went down threw himself on the young man put his arms around him and said don't be alarmed he is alive they went upstairs broke bread and he carried on talking until daylight the joke for preachers is if you want to preach all night, make sure you can raise the dead. Uh, however, what I want to emphasize is the hunger for the bread of life that these people had. They gathered together after a day's work, as Eutychus proved. Uh, they gathered together even though they were tired from the day and yet they gathered to hear the word. Such was their hunger for the word. It bothers me when people constantly complain that sermons are too long. I wonder where is our desire? Where is our desire for God's word? Where is our hunger for the bread of life? That we just want shorter and shorter sermons. We want less and less input from God's word. That worries me. I know, I know there's a balance in this that so we don't want to put people to sleep. However, I do long for a place where we are hungering, hungering for God's word. Our Father, we pray that you are creating us a soul thirst for you, hungering for the bread of life, O oh, may our spirits be. Lord, we pray that we will desire your word, that Lord, we will be desperate for your word. Lord, cause us to be hungering for you. That, Lord, we're prepared to listen for as long as it takes that our souls may be fed. Lord, cause us to be hungering for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.